All right, hey there, it's Keith Hayden, the digital novelist. Today is one day 126 of writing my supernatural horror novel, Gates of Okinawa. And it's been a hell of a morning. Got on this morning, was doing some quick editing of these videos and just changing up the, the name of it. And my computer crashed. Not once, but three times. And I just spent the last hour trying to fuck with it. You know how it is when computer stuff comes up very very frustrating um and it was a saga in itself but it it wasn't completely all lost because actually i turned to chat gpt the free version and it was very helpful because one of the hard things about diagnosing computer issues as you know is finding out exactly what's wrong and then taking the steps to actually get it back up and running so I've been doing a lot of coding in the last, this month, I've done free code camp every day, but I also have experience with code and just doing things on my own in the last few years. So I feel comfortable going into the BIOS, going into the command line, more than the average person to actually see what's going on. But I'm no geek squad, I, I you know, there's a limit to how much I'll do. and. After an hour, and then I was talking with a friend who's also a software engineer, and he gave me some just general tips. I finally was just like, fuck it. I was in and out of the settings. I was trying to see what was wrong. I was checking the task vendor, you know, all the, the stuff that you can do. And it, it just got to a point where I was like, well, either it works or it doesn't. And I'm not at the point right now to where I can act, where I could afford to buy a new computer or hell even to get this one fixed so if it goes shits the bed completely then i might have to find something else to do and i was sitting here you know this project has gone through a lot of changes and i'm so glad i've i've documented this whole process because yeah just seeing what it takes to do this scale of a project in the modern age not just the writing of it, but the actual marketing and getting the, you know, I'm doing a lot more than most do to make this a success, to have it find its audience and to actually tell a good story. So this meta story behind the story, I, I think will be interesting to, if nothing else, maybe it's just me that rewatches it or something. I don't know, but you're really seeing the ups and downs of this project and just last week, I had another hitch with this project where in a previous video, I talked about how I talked about deadlines and what it means when you're probably going to miss your deadline. And I had set the deadline for Gates of Okinawa to be Halloween of this year. And I made the video last week saying, I don't think I'm going to make it. And I, I talked to my wife and I think she agreed that this move has been a lot more hellish than both of us thought. It's taken more time. It's been more expensive. This this place is just a, a train wreck. I won't show it because my wife will probably get mad if I show how bad it is down here. I'm down in the living room, and it, it's just, it's like a am sitting in a fucking storage closet. <laughs> There's just un, stuff that's not sorted. There's boxes of stuff. There's stuff that needs to be thrown out, stuff that needs to be donated, all this stuff. And yet... I'm still trying to write this novel. I'm still trying to do all this stuff. Like so, and then my wife said, "Work. We we got work to do. We're busy people, just like you." And unpacking a house is, as you're trying to work, is a tough task. Long story short, I'm not gonna get the novel out by Halloween. <laughs> at least I don't want to put myself under that pressure because I know we're almost at the end of September, and for me to get it out at Halloween, I know what what when I enter that sprint mode usually when I'm at the like 85%, 90% mark, I can sprint to the finish. When I see the goal, when I see the finish, I can sprint. But I'm not at the sprint point yet. I, I know I'm not. I'm not really anywhere close. I just finished the draft of chapter 17. This was a brand new draft. And I'm still getting through these, these shitty AI chapters that I did a couple months ago. And that shit came back to bite me. If you want to know more about that, then check out uh, the Digital Novelist podcast. That's the first, very first episode where I talk about not rushing the process. And that was a direct consequence of doing these shitty AI drafts. 
So I made a new draft of chapter 17. It's good, but it needs to be edited. And I'm doing that editing phase right now. And I still have potentially two or three more chapters to where I'm about to link up to where I stopped using the AI and to where I just started actually writing the chapters and I slowed down the process. And even then I need to go back and tweak those chapters to make them, to flesh them out because yeah, there's just a lot more stuff that I added, a lot more layers, a lot more depth in these first 20 chapters I rewrote. So yeah, the, the project has gotten, I'm in the thick of it. I'm in the thick of it right now. And yeah, when I sat there doing the troubleshooting this morning, I was like, fuck me. This, this sucks. <laughs> It's not fun. Uh, just alone, writing the project, but then, you know, you're dealing with computer issues and things like that. So have you ever dealt with a long-term project where you just get that point to where you're just like, man, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the middle of the dark wood and I don't know left from right and I just know to just keep moving and that's all I can do. So I'm going to cut this update here because I don't want to make it too too much of a sob story because I still have um, a lot of other stuff to do today, but I wanted to check in and make this video for the archive, the deluxe version of Gates of Okinawa. So if you're seeing this after the fact, then we'll see how the novel turned out. But let me know about a long-term project that you struggled with. What's a long-term project that you struggled with? Let me know and this video. I'll probably just make this one general. I'll probably just put this video on my YouTube channel because um, it's more a general because this technology these days, we rely on it so much, but it's it sucks that our our first inclination, at least in in the US, is to just buy a new one. And it's like, okay, that's not an option right now. So I either need to work with what I got or I need to go I don't care if I have to use this phone, even the library. I need to find another way because I can't just buy a new computer right now. So, yeah, it's it it does humble you, and then it also makes you appreciative that you have this powerful piece of technology that you don't. Most days, you don't even think about how it works in the background because it just works. But when it doesn't, ooh, this stuff is just complex and. Yeah, taking the time to troubleshoot it or take it to a professional that knows how to troubleshoot it, that's more time, that's more money, that's, you know, that's more time away from you using the tool for the way you need to use it. So it really puts you in a bind. It really shows how vulnerable we are to technology these days. Um, and it's only getting more complex by the day. It's, it's pretty, um, it's a scary thought. But that's going to be the end of this video. I'm Keith Hayden. Check out more at keithhayden.net. All my other stuff is there. You'll find the archive of this project, Gates of Okinawa, going all the way back. Almost four months, a little over four months now of not everyday documenting, but regular check-ins of this project and how it's going. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.